what you can do with that. So basically like that, air freshener, ionization. So today we have this amazing car that's a S550 2015 and it's for Matic and it's a blue color that's super ugly. Those rims are super ugly, but the point is to buy this car for the same price as a 2022 Toyota Corolla or maybe Honda CRV, not new one, used one. So what you can get for the, that same money, you can get S Class. But do you have enough, uh, enough responsibility from yourself, enough power of yourself to buy this kind of car and live with that and drive it every day as your daily commuter. I mean, I have no idea about you, but I bought one and I love it so much. Sometimes I used to buy those and sell it without even driving it because I was so scared. Scared as right now, but right now I'm brave enough to drive it every day and to show it to you something. But I love it so much. This car is amazing. I mean, it's beautiful condition right now. It is in dark blue color, three stage paint. It has even stickers from this insurance company, if you know what I'm talking about, that's from 90s and looks like some of the insurance company, they still using it somewhere on the East Coast. This car is different from the one you can see in the West Coast or in the Los Angeles, especially because number one, it has ugly rims. I mean, nobody won that kind of car on those kind of rims. Number two, it is a blue color. I mean, nobody gonna buy S-Class blue color here. I mean, certain amount of people, usually all they want, it's a white, or dark gray or black that's the most desirable cars but it's a blue so you cannot use it for uber you cannot impress a lot of people because it is blue like for the old people maybe but again i like it so much because i got this car for the super amazing price i think so because if i'm going to compare with market right now what i can buy i can buy something like i say newer maybe honda maybe honda accord which is actually more expensive than this but this car was so amazing deal at the auction i cannot even resist because number one it had check engine light on for some simple stupid thing so basically the fuse 20 amp fuse got burned out and i replaced it and all the problems were gone so but the people they were scared to buy it more than 25k just because of check engine light on even this car has 70 plus thousand miles and it's in amazing condition this car was dirty outside dirty inside check engine light on so they just resist to buy and to bid on it but i was brave enough to push bid and i won this car so now i have it and it's amazing experience of my lifetime and it's amazing experience to show to you what you can buy for that kind of money between 25 and 30 thousand and can you own the s class yes you can and it's amazing so buy one if you can afford it and drive it just because you're going to spend a lot of money maybe 50 maybe 40 dollars a day maybe even more depends how far you're going to drive but this is amazing car so the trunk area in this car it's more than enough to hold a couple bodies maybe like because i'm from russia so i have that kind of feeling about it so what all the s-class and some of the e-class have that's amazing pocket what you can do with that so for example you do have a can of like red bull or you do have a coke or something else maybe other coke but the coke or any other bottle what you can do you can just put it there and it's not going to go away and we do have this button to release it so basically like that and it goes back and that's it you do have a full-size trunk you can use it for any kind of purpose even the back seat no it's not folding down but it is what it is so the skin or snowboarding on this car you have to use something on the <clears throat> so for the skin or snowboarding you have to use something on the roof on the top to put your stuff there but not in the trunk in the trunk you have more than enough space to put all your baggages luggages or you can travel somewhere far enough on the s-class because the suspension engine power of this car comfort of this car is just amazing there is nothing to compare like s-class again we do have a power trunk it's going to close itself even from the bottom on my key i do have that option so the suspension like i say it is aromatic and it's super comfortable you can raise it up and you can go over the bumps but besides that this car it's formatic so basically during the winter time i can take this car to big bear with my family full car family all wheel drive i can lift suspension up and probably it's going to be more than enough for me options to go over the snow and reach my destination over there up in the mountains so what we have under the hood we do have a 4.7 twin turbo v8 engine and it's believe me super complicated engine if you're going to compare with regular one non-turbo this is just going to take a lot of power a lot of money and uh, 
a lot of time to fix any kind of stuff on this car. So again, you have to know the mechanic you trust in enough to do any kind of job on this engine and uh, he's, who's not going to charge you a lot of money. So there is two, two interesting things about this car. Number one, we still have a same old style Freon for the AC system. That's super cool because usually 2015, 2014, some of the cars like Range Rover, they already start using 1, 2, 3, 4 AF, but this one, 134 A. So that's really good because it's much cheaper than the other one. Number two, I do have a sticker what they recommended to put Mobile One oil, but the good point, they're not doing recommendation about viscosity. So they're not doing like you have to put 0, 20, like a Prius or 530. So basically, in my opinion, what I can see, what I can tell on the 70,000 miles, if this car uh, recommendation has 530 uh, oil, I would put 1030 just because it's older this car use enough so you can do 1030 and just go maybe a little bit shorter period of time between the maintenance but the uh, higher viscosity oil it's going to help a lot for this engine because like for example 020 if you're going to use for this one it's just going to stop start burning a lot of oil through the turbos just because you do have a lot of gaps everywhere it's a used car and there is a used engine with used turbos don't get me wrong but again recommendation from the dealer it is good when the car has a factory warranty you have to do so but after that just talk to your mechanic see what he can recommend it depends on the condition outside but again we are in california and usually for all kind of cars even it says 0 20 i'm using 530 or 1030 that's my opinion and uh, my opinion came from my experience of lifetime <laughs> So we do have a Distronic Plus that's a huge radar sensor on the front grill and this car kind of drives itself on the freeway even through the city you just have to keep the steering wheel a little bit sometimes touch it so it understanding you still present so it's kind of autopilot uh, back in the days I remember my friend back in the days in 2014 he got this kind of car in black color and uh, we drove it to San Diego I was driving this car back in 2014 and I was so impressed because it's a huge difference between the previous body Mercedes S-Class and this one. That's like the spaceship, especially back in 2014. For me, it was like insane, you know, that auto steering going left and right, sitting in the lane, that's amazing. But again, this thing, this Tronic Plus, I used to see back in the days like on the 2006, 2005 S-Classes, so it's not something new. But again, for me, I think it's kind of third generation of autopilot. Tesla, it's totally different. But Distronic Plus plus Line Keeper back in 2015 on S-Class, it was most of the cars they used to have it. It was not an optional. It was like the, by default. So just because it's S-Class, we do have a lot of options like the, the 360 view camera. So you can even see what's going on in front of you. So we do have a fast options kind of so you can go for example to the seat <coughs> and do massaging call any kind of other adjustment on the front seats that's super nice so we do have a lot of place with suspension so we can go on a comfort mode like right now and engine transmission we have a eco mode like regular one or sport mode so we do also have the raising suspension and the car is gonna raise it up while you're driving it but i think after like 40 or 50 miles an hour it's just gonna lower it down and basically if you drive on a uh, freeway and you want to get some some action you go into the sport mode on your suspension on your transmission engine and the car just going to be super sick because v8 b turbo engine is just insanely fast believe me but same time your gas level gonna go maybe faster than your speed just because it's gonna take a lot of gas so what's other cool option here we do have an air freshener so basically right now we have a free side mood that's the Mercedes original. I think right now you can buy a lot of Chinese one, but the original one, they always have some kind of strange smells. You cannot find it from the China. And what you can do with that, you can go to the climate control. That's amazing thing with the climate control. Besides the temperature and the way you want the air going, so you have the airflow. Okay, got it. Adjust the footwell, got it. Climate mold, air freshener. So you can activate it or you can stop it. On the top of that, we do have a, this one, ionization. So basically, 
you can kill all the bacteria and uh, microbes which you don't want to see or feel in your car by doing that. It's a good action actually for the COVID-19 or COVID whatever COVID is going to be. So basically you put all the people who are sick inside the car, just turn it on and let them sit inside for a while after you're going to meet them in person and shake their hands. That's the, I think one of the good options with the S-Class. Is this the car for the brave people? Yes, it is because on this mileage, this car can give you so many problems you cannot even imagine and all your credit cards limit it's going to be not enough to fix it number one problem this car has after 50 60 000 miles especially after the warranty going to be over that's the turbo so your turbo you do have a two turbos here that's the 4.6 4.7 v8 twin turbo engine means you're not only getting two turbo and a lot of horsepower you are getting two problems which kind of both together but they are separate so if your turbo gonna start leaking or the <clears throat> oh it's cracked so you have to replace it you cannot just replace it you have to drop the whole engine the whole subframe with suspension and transmission down and do that thing on the ground so it means it's gonna cost a lot of money to do so on the top of that we always get in the oil leaks that's kind of normal for this car we might gonna get bad catalytic converter because again this car required to use 91 minimum uh octane quality gas but as always people using cheapest 187 that's how your sensors your cat is going bad so that's going to be the huge problem and it's not the corolla all the parts for this car is super expensive but not only part the labor not so many mechanics who can work on it and the car gonna drive perfectly the way it was before but not only that, the mechanics who can do it, they're going to charge a lot of money to do so. So be ready if you buy that kind of car. Again, number two option when you buy that kind of Mercedes or 7 Series BMW, but right now we're talking about S550. When you buy it and you just keep going until the car is going to completely stop. So until it's dead. So you might going to buy some nice rims and put it on. But for me, it's ugly. Usually all the original one, especially IMG, they looks much better than any aftermarket. And they're much better when you're driving the car so you're not going to get this balance and this and that but instead of fixing any oil leak or fix some sensors you know replace the parts brake parts i mean replace any parts on the car with original one of good quality you're not going to spend money you're just going to keep driving and this car is going to let you do that uh up to like 120 130 000 miles and after a lack of maintenance it's just going to stop and that's it you're going to sell it to someone on a craigslist who's going to take it apart or maybe something else but until that this car is amazing it's super comfortable i mean the way it drives the air suspension aromatic same as a tesla it's just insane i mean especially on the freeway when you're going 80 90 or 70 miles per hour you just relaxing so much especially the massage seats they help in a lot with your trip so is it worth it to buy this kind of car if you never had this car before but you really want to buy it so right now that's about the time so you can get you can pay around thirty thousand for this car and it's going to be eleven hundred thousand that's between 2014 and 2016 and you're going to enjoy it so much you cannot even imagine there is nothing like s-class yes it has a lot of problems yes it is expensive when it's brand new all the parts so expensive yes it is but is it worth it to buy it and enjoy it 100% if you do have if you're brave enough to buy this kind of car and own it try to fix something yourself or just think don't think about check engine light on just buy it drive it because that's one time experience of your lifetime there is nothing else like the Mercedes S-Class none of the cars you can compare to this car to comfort and the power this engine has so it is a beautiful car especially for Matic one it drives a little bit different than a real wheel drive so try one why not so as a passenger in the back what kind of options i have i do have an armrest with some box inside so i don't have a rear uh entertainment multimedia i do have a couple cup holders i don't have a ashtray i do have a what is it socket so i can plug some device here number two i don't have any screen so i do have a mirror like all the mercedes even the mercedes 1991 has the same exact mirrors that's kind of cool so i do have a sunshade on the back that's what i'm gonna open that's what options i have i don't have a massage seats on the back so this is not for me car that's the car for the front passengers but i can open the sunshade on the back also i can open the sunshade on the top on the roof 
that's going to give you more light it's going to give me more light here inside the car so i do have a sunshade on the rear door and if it's too dark for me i can open it and i can open the window itself that's pretty much it so i'm a passenger on the back seat of the s class i mean don't get me wrong some cars like the maybach or s600 with full of options on the back they do have a lot of options even the adjusted seat you might gonna get it also so that kind of car it's gonna be for the passengers on the back but this s class that's for the driver that's for you to buy it and drive it enjoy it and love it so much you're not gonna go back to any other car if you do have enough money to maintain this car well or you have a lot of money enough money i'm so sorry you have enough money to buy this car brand new lease it for 2500 a month and drive it enjoy it the whole family your old friends gonna gonna love it also they gonna be so jealous because you have a brand new mercedes and you're not uh, using it for uber so basically you don't have a tcp ipc any kind of stickers on your bumper so that's gonna give you positive thoughts from the people around you So it was super amazing car s class 550 not everyday car but again i love it so much if you get a chance to buy this car or take it from somewhere and drive it enjoy it and feel it please do so and put some comments below put some thumbs up and uh, see you next time thank you so much for watching it